In this video, we're going to look at how to solve cubic equations. Um, back when we learned factoring, we learned how to factor the sum and difference of two cubes. a cubed plus b cubed is a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. a cubed minus b cubed is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, cubic equations can be solved with the quadratic formula. That does not mean the whole thing can be solved with the quadratic formula. If we take a look, the part that can be solved with the quadratic formula is the part that looks like a quadratic. The a squared plus ab plus b squared and the a squared minus ab plus b squared. I can solve this part with the quadratic. This part's gonna be very easy to solve. Um, make a note that when you're solving a cubic, the a minus b represents your real answers. The a squared plus ab plus b squared is your imaginary answers. Remember the degree of the polynomial tells you the number of real and imaginary solutions total. The total zero is both real and imaginary. And so you only have a one degree and you have two degrees. So one real, you're going to have two imaginaries. Let's, you know, try it out. So I have x cubed minus 125. To factor this out, remember what we learned before was to identify what's a and what's b. And so we take a look, you know, what's the cube root of x cubed? And that's x. What's the cube root of 125? And that's 5. And so our a is x and our b is 5. Since it's x cubed minus 125, I'm going to use a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. And so to fill in the information, you know, equals 0, I'm going to have x minus 5 here. And in the other one, I'm going to have, you know, x squared a times b, so 5x plus 5x, and then b squared, 5 squared is 25. And this equals 0. And just like when we factored before, that means set each parentheses equal to 0. Now, the easy one to do is the x minus 5. You know, you set x minus 5 equal to 0. You're going to add x equals 5. There's your first answer. However, you know, that's the easy one. This one, you cannot factor. This is going to give you an imaginary solution. You have to go to the quadratic formula here. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so if I take a look and I label everything, I get here that a is 1, b is 5, and c is 25. So to solve this one, you're going to have negative b, x equals negative b, so negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 25, all over 2a, which is 1. And so x equals negative 5 plus or minus, let's do this off to the side, we're going to have 5 squared is 25, 4 times 1 times 25 is 100, so the square root of 25 minus 100 is the square root of negative 75, and 2 times 1 is 2. So we still got to keep going. You know, I have a negative inside of the square root, so I can take that out, and make it an i, so negative 5 plus or minus i, square root of 75 over 2, and now simplify the square root of 75. You know, let's see, 75 is 3 times 25, 25 is 5 times 5. You got a pair of 5, so it's 5 square root of 3. So I have x equals negative 5 plus or minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. 
and that cannot be simplified anymore. So there's your answer. It's a little more difficult to solve the quadratic portion of the cubic. And the reason why is because this is going to be imaginary. Right away, I can see it's imaginary because I have a negative inside the square root. And so when you use the factoring technique for cubic equations, your first parentheses represents the real solution. The second one's going to be the imaginary. And to do and solve the imaginary, you're going to have to use the quadratic formula for it. So break it apart into factored form, like we did here. You know, box it, circle it, so you can see what it is. And then from there, solve. The real one, easy. The quadratic one, you have to use the quadratic formula. And you will have an I in your answer because it is imaginary. So just refresh on this, take it in, and then move forward on the next two examples.